Dan, do you have anything you'd like to say? I'm sorry for missing it. That's all right. I just want to say the Juni City Council is currently working on getting seven new members to our council for the new year coming up because three of us, including myself, will be moving on um, graduating high school. So we're getting seven new members for our Juni City Council. And, and if somebody is interested at the high school level in doing that, how do they go about it? Um, well, we do like applications. Um, we give out applications to local high schools, um, usually around April or so. And as the council, we review it and we do go through an interview process. Mm -hmm. So that's all I have for tonight. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Okay, got that name and address for the record, please. Sure. My name is Beth Ann Geyser. I'm at 286 North Main Street uh, in North Square, right across from Beaumont Street. Mm -hmm. um, I have lived there 40 years, moved there after the 72 flood. And I have never seen a worse year with college students than I did this past year. Um, I realize that off campus housing can be tricky. But I think that we've got to come up with a way, and I'm not asking you to solve the problems of the world. I think that um, Kings tends to blame the police, and the police have said Kings doesn't cooperate with them. Here's what I've seen, uh, aside from the fact that my wall was pulled down in a recent uh, party. They party all weekend long. Uh, if you drive up North Main Street, and this doesn't limit itself to spring. If you drive up North Main Street, you can see some of the homes that will have a keg on the porch at 1130 on a Friday afternoon. And common sense tells you that if someone starts drinking at 1130 on a Friday afternoon, by 1130 Friday night, it's not pretty. Um, the, what, it, what it lends itself to is anger. You have this group fighting with this group. I'm seeing more of them congregate right at that intersection because from what I understand from some of the students, it's this is the soccer house, this is the football house, this is the baseball house. I don't know what their problems are. All I know is, one, it's disruptive to our sleep. Two, now my property is damaged. Um, I'm currently having some work done on my roof and one of the contractors who came by to propose something to me said, I never knew you had such an arm because there were so many beer cans and pairs of sneakers in my gutter. Now, the property that is directly next door to me right now is, I think, up for sheriff's sale. That's at 280 and 282. That was a property that was used by students. Um, and more than once, I had requested the health department come up because they would never take their garbage out. So I had rodents all over the place. If you approach the students, I have had poisoned pieces of chicken thrown over in my yard. I have small animals. I really don't want them poisoned. They do not show respect. I don't know why we, as a community, can't work with the Kings to come to a resolution. Um, I have spoken to them. I've told them I'm willing to meet with them during the summer. I know that they have the name of every student in every one of their off-campuses housing. Uh, I, I also don't understand why, and maybe I shouldn't say why, the police do come when they're called, and I will never fault that. But what I'm seeing happen is an escalation in the problem. And we had one years ago on North Main Street, and I'm sure that either you, Mr. Barrett, or you, Mr. George, were probably police chief at the time, where there was a King student that fell off of a balcony, and I don't know whether they were killed or they were paralyzed. The year after that, and subsequent years for about three or four years, there was a no tolerance policy at King's, and you did not have these problems. It's now getting sloppy again. And I'm just one neighbor, but we're the ones trying to keep the city nice, but they don't care. They come, they show up. Now, can they be good neighbors? Yes. Can we be encouraging them as students to come here and to be a part of our, our community? Yeah. But I'll tell you, I'm not seeing that attitude. And I think that we've got to reach out to Kings 
I can't speak for what goes on with Oaks. I don't know. I'm in that, I'm not in that neighborhood. But to reach out to them for a greater cooperation. When I spoke to one of the officers that came, he expressed to me that part of the problem is, is if it goes to King's, they do nothing with it. When I spoke to King's, King said to me, they can't do anything about students if the police don't arrest them. The police have come. Um, they have come when they've been called. But when you've got a crowd in the middle of an intersection that may be 50 to 100, and they see cruisers with lights flashing coming from Public Square or Pennsylvania Avenue on Beaumont Street, those kids aren't going to be at that intersection when the police arrive. Yeah, one more it's, Okay, so um, one of my suggestions is if we do have that traffic cam set up that works, perhaps that would be a good place to put one of the cameras because you would capture Beaumont Street where there's been some drug activity and you capture North Main Street both up and down where all of the housing is. Um, and I will do what I can as a resident, as a neighbor, and work with my neighbors to try and come up with something. But we have to have a place to turn. And it can't always be just call the police when it's a problem. Let's try to be proactive and prevent the problems from happening. Because I've got a $4,000 wall now, or $5,000 really, it's going to cost me to replace it. And, you know, and I'm putting a lot of money into the roof. So I'm looking to you for ideas, and that was an idea I had, because I see them all over the place, those cameras. And so if we have people watching them, it might be an opportunity. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.